Guess what, folks? We make Cajun fried rice. Now, come on in here and take a look at this right here. When I talk about super simple, look. Shrimp, bell pepper, celery, and listen, when you say Cajuns or slash even Creole, I always think about okra. I'm bringing that back to my channel, folks, so you guys look out. We finna show you how to make that in this rice. And then when you talk about your seasoning, look, you guys can use your seasoning. Like today, I'm gonna be using my Creole kick, a little soy, and this right here is that sesame seed oil. Now listen, I'll tell you when you're using the sesame seed oil, look, a little bit of this goes a long way. And then when we talk about our rice, I like to make my rice the day before. Now, if you're gonna be making this in the evening, you wanna make this first thing in the morning, get it all fluffed up, put it in some Tupperware and put it in your refrigerator to let it dry out. We don't want it to be gummy or sticky, right? And the reason we do that, that's so that we don't have any issues with the starches, right? You want them to be, you know, nice and cold. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get my griddle set up. Okay, look, this right here is gonna be my this is my low zone. This right here is where I put everything, to, you know, so it doesn't, you know, like continue to cook. So I cook over this way. And then when I'm through cooking, I put it over here, keeps it nice and warm. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and store it right here in one of my pans. All right, so we're gonna prep our veggies, right? I'm gonna start with my celery. I like to get them all up at the top, cut this little piece off up here, right? And then I go ahead and do the same thing on the back end. Now look, it's really about the size. Now for my bell peppers. Okay, look, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the okra, right? So I just cut the bottom, and then you wanna cut them a little bit on the thin side, right? All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little oil on here and get this dispersed. And now that I got my griddle ready, now we're gonna go ahead and just get our, you know, our veggies on. Listen, it goes fast, folks. Now we're gonna go ahead and go with our sausage, right? I usually like to try to use andouille, you know what I mean? This right here is just a, a spicy, you know, smoked so, uh, sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this and start this, you know, right here, right? If you guys can get that andouille, please do. It just levels everything up, right? All right, so now I'm getting ready to make me a little room. We'll scoop this over. Right? Now we'll come with our sausage. Now before I put that shrimp in there, I want you guys to pay attention. Uh-oh, we got a piece trying to jump out. We'll just go ahead, just flip some of these over. You see all the flavor? Everything on this griddle right here is like running towards down this way, right? So check this part out. I'm gonna go ahead and put a stick of butter right here. It's okay, because we want butter everywhere. You guys gonna get the just of it in just one second. And then notice how it's running down into my veggies, right? So we just keep a little bit of that out. We give it a little bit of a mix, right? It's gonna all make sense in just one second, folks. Now I'll move this back over here. Now that we got that butter and everything right, you can see that, look, the butter's infused with the sausage, the sausage and all of that has ran down into the veggies. Now we come with our shrimp. Now I'm gonna move my veggies down a little bit more so, so they can slow down on their cooking. But those are nice right there. You can look just the way they are right there. You can see just through a video, just the softness, right? Oh yeah. Now you guys understand why I put that butter on there, right? And now is the time to come with our seasoning. Now I showed you guys already what I'm gonna be what I'm using. That's that Creole kit. You see that right there? Hmm. I put a little bit on my sausage and my veggies, folks. Move these down here. We want to keep these warm, right? Now we go ahead and just mix these. We don't want to overcook them, right? Don't forget we got those two zones, right? Hot, right? This is like a medium heat over this way. This one's on extremely low, and that one's on extremely low. 
Only thing we gotta do now is get that rice together. All right? Doesn't take long, folks. You see that right there? I'm gonna let them stay like this. Make sure all of them are flat. I'm gonna wait another 30 seconds and I'm gonna move those over to my cool zone. All right, so now I like what I'm getting right here. These are just right. You can see they just starting to curl. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, it doesn't take long. It's okay if you push them over here on your veggies, but you gotta admit, I know some of y'all gonna say you don't eat that over, but look, when you put it on the griddle right here, ooh, ooh, look at that. Talk to me down in that comment section below and tell me what you think about that right here. Mm, mm, mm. Right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just move, you know, my sausage down this way too. You know what I mean? But as you can look and you can see, let me bring y'all in close and tight on this griddle. You see all of that right there? Look at the color of that butter. That's that butter, that infused olive oil, all of that's marrying together. And then when you look right there, that's that money right there. Look right there. All right, everything over here on this part of my, my uh, griddle, remember, this is my cool zone or my warm zone, right? Now it's time to bring that, what's that? That's that rice made previously, right? So now I'm just giving this a little mix. You can see it start to turn color. What it's doing is picking up the flavor up off of the griddle. All of that, you know, all of our sat, our sausages, you know what I mean? Our veggies. You remember we had a little soy sauce. We're gonna add that to it, all right? Now don't forget, they have a 33%, 33% less sodium. That's highly recommended. And then remember I told you guys, don't forget about this part right here. The sesame seed oil go a long way, folks. So it don't need a whole lot. I would just suggest you guys put it in there, get it mixed up, and then taste it. Right, you see how the rice is starting to turn color? Just let you know how, you know, how everything gets coated, you know, with the flavor. So once you got this cooked in, you got your color right, you taste a little bit of it, now it's time for you to go ahead and bring everything else, you know, in here like this. And then you just start giving it a mix, right? Now I take some green onion. I got plenty of it. And what I do is, listen, if you cook this under a lot of heat, what it does is it'll get small and get kind of like, almost like wilted. You know what I mean? You, you be cooking it down. So what I do is, you guys see it. I just put some in here. I'm going to mix it, let the heat, because everything is off right now, right? Then the only thing left to do is when you take it like this, I'm going to serve it out of what you guys see me putting it in right now. So I'll just add it in there. I've been, you know, eating some. I can tell you already it's great. And then you can see, if you guys come here and look at that right there, you see how that sauce is like that? Too bad that really isn't andouille, because if it was, that'd be, mm. But I can tell you this right now, just having smoked sausage is, you know, still good. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it, I'm finna eat some so you guys can see that I stay true to, you know, what I do. You know what I mean? Uh, this, this, oh, we gotta get a shrimp, right? Cheers, folks. Whew. When I tell you it's a lot of flavor going on, look, the butter absorbed everything up off of the griddle, right? So listen, we had our sausage, we had our shrimp, then we had our, you know, our veggies, right? And if you ask me, what really takes it over the top is that okra. Now, I didn't put a whole lot of okra in there like I normally do because of, I know a lot of people out here don't like it. And, you know, I'm going to get a lot of comments saying they don't like okra. But the okra really is like the level up along with this Creole kick. Now, if you guys don't have Creole kick, you can use your favorite uh, Creole or Cajun seasoning. That's what, you know, brings it all together and just binds it and makes it nice. This Creole kick right here gives it a nice little bite. And you know right off the bat, this got to be something Creole or Cajun. Now, talk to me down in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do next. I'm out. Peace.